Hi everybody, it's Matthew here from Bead Spider. How are we all doing today? I'm going to be making some really quick, easy and fun, gorgeous little beaded butterflies today. Um, I see we're starting to get uh, people popping up over on Facebook and YouTube, so welcome everybody, thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope you've all been having a lovely week so far, um, you know, and looking forward to doing a bit of wire work and beading. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to be showing you how to make these gorgeous little beaded butterflies. Uh, there's a special kit that we have. Um, each of the kits makes six butterflies. So that's a lot of butterflies per kit. So there's a lot that you can do with them. You can put them um, on brooches, you can hang them from like a keychain, you could stick them on a hair, uh, a hair grip piece as well, um, pop them on other interesting things to make them into pendants. There's a lot that you can do and I'm going to show you how to make them. They're really, really fun, easy and simple. So let me just show you really quickly what these little fellas look like because uh, I'm a big fan of them and I hope you are too. So as you can see, they're really cute little butterflies. This is the color I'm going to be demonstrating with here, the gold. There's also a really beautiful purple color just here as well. Plus we've got this lovely pink tone, which I think is very, very going to be a very popular one as well. And then we've got this really lovely blue fella here as well. So like I said, there's four different kits to choose from. So if you want to head to the link in the description, uh, you can <coughs> uh, get that little uh, kit in the individually, or you can get all four together. Um, let's see, uh, who have we got already joining us? Uh, ooh, uh, this is a nice big comment from Bella Creation. She says, looking forward to this tutorial. She loves butterflies and using beads that everyone has, so she can't wait. She's very excited. Uh, so thank you to Bella. Uh, Nancy is here. She says, hello. Hi, Nancy. Uh, we've got Deb as well. Uh, Linda says it's raining there in Kentucky. It's lovely weather here in the UK. Um, we've got Pamela is here, so hi. Uh, Doris is here as well. Uh, Maxine is on. Lovely butterflies, she says. Um, and a little smiley face. We've got Bridget here. Um, oh, long time no see. We've got Kelly as well. Hi, Kelly. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Kelly's off in Australia. She used to watch uh, all the time, but... Uh, it's very, very late there, so she's watching, I think it's midnight maybe, uh, but lovely of you to join. Uh, we've got Sue, we've got Maggie as well, lots and lots of people uh, joining in uh, as per, as usual. I'm sure we'll have even more dropping by soon. But anyway, like I said, if you want to go and grab the kit, I'll show you the website very, very quickly, as I often do. So let's just take a quick look at it just here. So... Our website today, which you should be able to just click the link in the description and it will take you uh, to the page where you can get all of these butterflies. Otherwise, if you arrive at our homepage, this is it today. Uh, if you, oh, I need to rearrange these. The pinch bead jewelry for some reason is at the bottom. I need to move it to the top. But anyway, if you missed last week's pinch bead jewelry bun, uh, video, uh, you can still watch that one. I will show you what I made just in a second. Uh, we're almost absolutely out of stock on those pinch bead bundles. But if you're going to buy any of our pinch beads, you do still get those three free patterns. That's on the right there where it says making jewelry with pinch beads. Otherwise, today's video, which uh, there it is as a little decoration in a plant pot. Uh, if you click on that big picture right there, it will take you to the page on the website where you can watch this video. So if you don't have time now, you can check it out on the Bead Spider website. Otherwise, the button below takes you to this page, which is the same one as the link on the in the description. Uh, takes you to this page here. So if you want, you can save £12 or get 25% off when you buy all four kits. That's this one just up here. You just add it to your basket and you'll get one of each of the colours. Each kit does make six butterflies. Ooh, let's just pop that out of the way. Um, <coughs> yeah, each kit does make six butterflies, so you'll have plenty, and there's a lot that you can do with them. Uh, I'm going to tell you all the different things that you can you can do, but of course, please do uh, m comment in with your suggestions of what you might do with your butterflies. I want to hear it all. Uh, we do also have, you know, all the crystals and seed beads and things a bit further down as well, uh, so you're more than welcome to mix and match and pick and choose whichever ones uh, you like. There's some really nice findings down here. All sorts of goodies that you can um, 
find, but otherwise there's the four colors of kits or the buy all four option there as well. So yeah, like I said, if you want to do that, um, the link is in the description. It'll take you straight to the page. Uh, but yeah, let's get started, shall we? So we've got lots of fun on offer, but first things first, like I said, don't forget, please like, share, subscribe, uh, help us build the Bead Spider community. We've got more than 23,000 subscribers on YouTube, and I think we're pressing towards about 7,000 over on Facebook. So always growing, which is lovely. So please do like, share, subscribe, follow, all of that jazz, uh, all the usual biz. Uh, but yeah, so let's, let's begin, shall we? Um, let's see. So don't forget, I am able to see all of your comments. So please do drop me a comment and I will uh, try and answer. If you've got any questions, put a big fat Q at the beginning so I can see it as well. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's plenty that I can see. So uh, make sure when you pop those little comments in, I can see them. Uh, but yeah, so shall we begin? Yes. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate with the gold one, which is this one here. I really, really like this one. Um, of course, if you do get the all four, you can very easily mix and match your colors, but I'm not going to do that just in case, uh, you know, I don't want to confuse anyone. So I'm going to be using these gorgeous gold uh, Preciosa size 10 seed beads I've got here. I've got my <coughs> three by four crystal donuts, which, as I said, you do get enough to make six of your little butterflies. This is the one that you get in the in the gold it's a really lovely color hopefully you can see it it's got like this milkiness to it that i absolutely love super sparkly and these orange flecks and then of course we've got our six mil bicones uh which are just here uh which are going to make the body of uh my little butterfly here uh kelly says where is your tea don't worry kelly i've got it right here uh in my matthew mug uh so yeah Thanks, um, thanks for reminding me. I always forget my tea, as I'm sure you all know. Uh, one day I will finish it. But anyway, so yeah, let's let's begin. Uh, we also need. Oh, don't forget the kit does also include your 0.4 millimeter um, artistic wire uh, in there as well. So you do get that too. Don't forget. Um, we do. Uh, in, of course, include all the instructions as well. So uh, if you are getting the kit, you'll also get the full instructions with all the pictures and diagrams, all of that uh, included additionally as well. So yeah, let's let's begin. The very first thing that we need, are we all settled? Are we all ready? Ready to begin? I hope, uh, you know, I hope you're all ready and paying attention. Um, here we go. So here we go. Anne, Anne apparently was going to watch me from outside, but uh, it's too bright and sunny out there. So she's had to come in so that she can see the uh, see the screen. Well, I mean, you could always, uh, you know, um, cast me over to the to the to the television if you wanted to watch me on the big screen, you know, get my face right up on the screen. Uh, always good fun. Um, here we go. Let's uh, let's go. So. First thing that we're going to do, I'm going to, like I said, we need our artistic wire. You need about 50 centimeters, um, half a yard uh, is there. Um, oh, we've just got a comment in. I'm going to pop it up on the screen from uh, my neighbor. Uh, Shannon's here as well. Uh, thanks for watching, Shannon. She's finally commented in. I always tell her that she should comment, but now she has. So uh, thanks for watching, Shannon. Um, but yeah, so first thing we do, we cut ourselves our 50 centimeters of artistic wire. I've got 0 0.4 wire with me just here. Um, so of course, that's what you're going to need. And we'll start with getting one little seed bead. So I'm using size 10 Preciosa seed beads, just in case you missed it at the beginning. And uh, I'm going to thread one seed bead nicely to the center of my wire here. So if I just zoom in a teeny weeny bit, so that we can really see what I'm doing. I'm going to thread that one size 10 seed bead right to the middle of my wire and sort of push it nicely into the center like that and bring the two wires together. See that? So I've got my wire nice and even amounts at there. Now I'm going to pick up one six millimeter bicone and I'm going to thread it over both wires. 
like so. So you can see both wires are going straight through. These got lovely big holes in them. So they're really easy to work with. Slide it all the way down so that it locks against that little final size 10 bead there. And then just separate your wires so that it's sort of locked nicely into position. This is going to be our little butterfly's bum, uh, if you will. So this is the bottom of our butterfly just here. Um, we've got a comment from Jitty. She says, uh, Hi Matthew, I love butterflies. Me too. This is why I thought we would use them. Um, but yeah, come on everyone, comment in how you think you might be able to use them. Um, you know, sticking them in a pot plant is a nice idea. Really big statement earrings if you wanted to do them like that. Uh, what other ideas have you guys got? Um, Jermaine suggested maybe as a uh, a decoration for a window hanger, for example. Uh, because you get lots and lots of butterflies, you could even stick them on cards to send to people. Um, all sorts of different things that you could do with them. But what other ideas have you guys got? Um, Ellie seems to have enjoyed my, my use of the term butterfly butt. Uh, so anyway, let's, let's continue on now. I'm going to make the bottom wing on both sides. So what we need to do, let's just check exactly how many beads. Yes. 28 beads on each side. So I'll just do one side at a time. Take your wire and we're going to just thread on our seed beads onto just the one side for now. So let's just get them all here and very quickly one, just thread them all on 28 beads in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And these gold ones really look fantastic when you thread them onto the wire. Um, the color of them really comes to life, I think at least. Uh, and they look really beautiful. Um, but yeah, let's get them on. Just a few more, three more. And then that will be 28 little beads there. Slide them down to our butterfly butt. And now this is where we make our first little wing. They're really quick and easy to make these fellas. So if you have a little look, I'm going to bend it around so that I can create my first little twist. So I'd like to bend upwards so that I'm coming down towards the bead. This helps me get a better tension. If you need, you can sort of maneuver it. It doesn't matter, but so that you've got, see how it's nice and firm, nice and close at the base. So I'm going to hold that. And then I'm going to just twist the two wires together. Twist them once, twice, three times, a lady. And then a fourth little twist. There we go. And you can see I've got them now nice and secure, nice and close, nice and tight to that little wing. And I'll just lift it up, back up into position. So that's going to be the bottom wing of our first one. So if we have a little look... It's going to become this little piece here. So I'm going to do the same for the other side. So now again, let's pick them all up. 28 little beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am going to do the whole process on this, by the way, because it is very, very easy to do. Um, and it doesn't take long at all. The entire process is, is really, really quick, actually. Um, so I should very easily be able to uh, do the whole thing quite quickly for you. So it should be a nice, quick, easy, entertaining little video today, I hope. Um, won't go on for too long, I shouldn't think. Um, here we go. One, two, three, four more. And that should give us our 28 beads. And so now I'm going to do exactly the same again. So... Uh, here you go. You can see I'm going to just loop it all the way around. Again, I'm going to do it so that it's towards this little um, bicone. Because if you try and do it the other way, I find that the wire kind of gets in the way and it's a little bit difficult. Um, so there we go. Let's just get that in there. Pull it nice and tight. There we go. Hold that. If you bend it a little, it sort of helps you to keep it locked in place. And, whoops, let's keep them nice and close together. Nearly lost it. 
Come on now, thread back down the wire. There we go. Side by side and pull it tight. There we go. And get it nice and close, nice and tight. I'm holding it with my finger here to help keep the tension. And then I'll just twist once, twice, three times a lady, uh, four. There we go. And now I can just bring both of my wires up and into the middle. And these are both of my little bottom pieces. Obviously, they're really maneuverable. This is uh, really easy to maneuver this wire. You don't need to shape them yet, though. We'll do that a bit later. Um, hi to Jan, by the way, who's just joined us. Uh, of course, her uh, her groceries arrived bang on three o'clock, so she missed the beginning. But luckily, you haven't missed too much yet, Jan. Uh, we're just making the bottom of our little butterfly. Um, here we go. What were some of the suggestions? Oh, Kay said you could do them into a wind chime. Yeah, that's a good idea. You could put some little metal bits with them, maybe. Um, dressing up pot plants, says Max. Um, African violets. Yeah, that could be a really nice idea. And they're cat safe plants. Good. Um, here we go. Yeah, welcome, welcome spring with the butterflies. Exactly. Uh, that's a uh, Connie's suggestion there. So now, <coughs> what we're going to do is create the body of our little butterfly piece here. So now all we have to do is pick up three little seed beads and thread them over both wires. So one, well, I could do them one at a time, but I like to do them simultaneously just because I always find that Mr. Lazy over here prefers doing it that way just because I find it's quicker than trying to maneuver the wires once you get one on trying to get the other on and so forth so you don't have to do them at the same time but I I like to try and bring the two wires together and thread them at the same time so there you go one two and three uh, Krish says, can it be a brooch? Yes, you can. I've in fact got, there's one with a bro brooch back on the back there. So it makes a really nice little brooch. Uh, just, you know, pop it on your shirt or a jacket lapel or something like that. Uh, so yes, of course, definitely makes a brooch. Very, very easily makes a brooch. Um, in fact, you could even sort of embellish your brooch with some really nice findings. Like for example, Popping this on here and attaching this to your brooch just to make it a bit more, um, I don't know, extravagant, maybe. Uh, that's a, a nice little idea. There you go. Here you go. There's the blue one, for example. Oh, no, he's upside down. There we go. There's the blue one. See? And you can sort of use these little uh, filigree flowers. I put these um, this finding into the, the product category. So if you click the link in the description, you'll find it there. So, yeah, now that I've got these three beads just like so, like this. Um, I need to just separate my wires and I'm going to create uh, that little um, first little pair of wings. So the first thing I'll do, I'll just bend the two wires to separate them, one and two. And now we're going to add on our wings. So if you bend them, try and get your tension nice and firm so that they're locked down to the bottom. And now for each of these wings, we need 40 seed beads. So this might take me a little bit longer, but not a whole lot of time. Um, let's see what comments people have got. Yeah, the kit includes six brooch backs, I should mention. So, um, of course, if you've got like the, um, the wire for... Uh, florist, florist wire, it works very, very easily to attach it to that if you want to make them for your flowers, which we don't include them. But we've got in that little product category lots of findings that you can try out, like our hair grips are in there, for example, and little um, hair bands as well. Mr. Bands, if you're German. Um, terrible joke there. My, uh, my apologies. I'll see myself out. Uh, so there we go. 15... There's 20. Twenty-five. There's 30, so 10 more. Once we've got 40, we've got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
There we go. So now, again, this way, I'm going to do this one ever so fractionally differently just because I find that it's easier this way. So if you bend this one towards this, I find it's a little more difficult to, um, uh, to bend. Uh, someone asked dragonflies, something about dragonflies. Yeah, I did a live tutorial on dragonflies uh, maybe around this time last year. So, uh, yeah, so um, feel free to, to go back and check out our tutorial library for that one. Um, anyway, so now that I've got this, I'm going to loop this one down the opposite way so my wire is kind of pointing upwards. I find that by doing it this way, it's much easier to get your, your wires sort of neat where you want them to be. So let's just get that down there. Get it fairly firm, and then there, see this this little spot here. I'm going to pinch, pull this on, pull this wire to get make sure there's no gaps, and then I'll just twist them once, twice, three times, and a fourth time, just like that. And that's going to do that first little wing. Lift that up and get it out of the way. Don't worry about the shape of it too much. It's not too important. And we'll do the same one more time. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Luckily, I graduated primary school and know how to count, otherwise, this would be very difficult. <laughs> Uh, but luckily, I can prove it to you all. There you go. 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I reckon I could have been on Sesame Street as the count. Um, uh now, okay, so now I've got this one here. I can, again, I'm going to bend it around to get it in position, like so. And just to help me do it, I'm going to kind of bend it under here, just so it's sort of locked in place a bit better. Oops, it's not quite the right spot. There we go. Towards there, and I'll go under this wing here. There we go. That's going to wrap nicely around the base of that same little wing spot. And now, just holding it nice and tight, let's go pull it firm again. Twist once. Oops, did I twist it the wrong way? Yes, I did. Let's just do that once again to make sure I've got it nice and firm. And I'll twist it once, twice, three times, and four. There we go. And now you can see I've kind of got the majority of that happening. Let's just bend that up to the top. And then this is sort of like the, the base structure of my little fella here. Let's just pop a ticker with all the materials I've been using just to try and uh, allow you to see all of that. Uh, hopefully if you've been wondering. Oh, I just realized it doesn't say that the, the Preciosa seed beads are in there. Doesn't matter. Um, <coughs> uh, Sandy asks, what gauge wire is it? Uh, I'm using 0.4 millimeter wire, so I think that's 24 or 26 or something like that. So anyway, we've got our little base piece. We're going to add our head on now as well. So much like how we added our body, we're going to this little central structure there as well. I'm also going to do the head. Um, by the way, this thing at the bottom, it's missing the, the size 10 Preciosa seed beads, so uh, that's why it doesn't say it in the ticker, but I am using my Preciosa seed beads here. Uh, so, now let's just get rid of that and pick up one, two, three more seed beads over both wires, just like we did when we did our body piece, our bodice. There we go, one, two, and three through there. There we go. Like that. Thread them down. All the way. And now uh, let's add on his head. So again, we're going to thread both wires through that last little bead there. And 
pull it all the way down so that it's nice and firm like this. So I'll pull one wire to the left, one wire to the right, and that's going to lock that nicely in position. Um, now, this I'm going to do slightly more advanced way, just to show you a way that I think it's a little bit neater, but uh, also a little bit more difficult. So the, the way that in the instructions it suggests that you sort of put your piece on and twist them, but I'm going to show you something ever so slightly different. So I've got my 3x4 little crystals here, two of them, because these are going to, just like you can see here, going to become my antennae. Uh, so I will thread one on one side. And what I'll do just now is I'm going to put it approximately where I want it to sit. So we'll say about here. This is about a good antenna size. I'm going to bend this 90 degrees. That's sort of going to lock that nicely in place. And what I can do now is I'm going to thread back through this little 4mm bicone. So this is why it's a bit more advanced. You can always just bend this 90 degrees slightly so that your wire will come through easy. So this can be a bit more fiddly trying to get, because uh, then we'll have four wires going through this one bead. But I'm going to do it anyway just because that's the sort of person I am. Uh, let's just get that straightened. And hopefully that will go nicely through there. There we go. It's coming through now. And I can just pull my wire through. Oh, it's caught on my wing. Come on now. So yeah, this is a little bit trickier, but I think it gives you a, um, a neater finish. That's, that's my thoughts, at least. So I'll just get it to about this point, and now I'll pick up my other one, and I'm going to do the same again. Figure out approximately where I had it, same sort of spot, and create that same 90 degree bend. And now I'll thread down through here and just try and wiggle it. If you can't get them both through, it doesn't matter. You can do them separate ways, but I thought I would just show you it like this anyway. So just give it a fiddling with and just ease it through. It can be a little bit difficult just because the wires kind of get in the way. Try it from the other side even. Nah. So go... Usually these go through relatively easily, but today they just don't want to play games. They don't want to play with me. Uh, so let's just wait. We can cut that bit off because it's getting a bit wonky. If it doesn't go through, it doesn't matter. I'll show you both methods, actually. Maybe it's better I don't put it through just because then I can show you the both methods. The one in the instructions and then sort of my little method as well, which I kind of prefer. Let's just give it one last try to get it through. Get this other wire out of the way. Come on now. Push, push, push. Are you going to come through? If not, I'll just do it the original way on this one so that you can see both. Usually it goes through easily, but not today. Oh, well, whatever. I'll show you both methods. So this one I can just... I mean, the easy method definitely is easy, but I like doing it the other way just to make sure that they end up the same sort of size. And that is essentially you just bring it down to the base like this, pinch the two ends together like so, and then you just... Actually, I should pull my other one through first just to make sure it's the... going to come through. So there we go. It's about there. And that's about there. There we go. And then, yeah, so if you got them both through, you can do it like this. But otherwise, this is the method in the instructions, this one here, where you just hold them together like this, bring it to the very, very end, and then just twist nice and firmly until they're nice and tight. And then you can cut it off above the bead. But because I kind of, and then try and poke it in a little bit. So see that? That's nicely just above, you just get your scissors. I was just trying to do it the advanced way to make it a fraction neater. Which, I mean, you'd hardly notice that. But anyway, there you go. And now the other one, which is going all the way through, I can do exactly the same thing again. You just go twist, twist, twist. 
So more or less exactly the same, but now this one, when I cut it down here, the the thread will the the wire will hide between the bead and this um, the bicone and the little seed bead as well. And then we can just cut this wire off as well. There we go. And this is going to be the base of our little insecty friend. So don't worry if his wings are a bit mangled or moshed or anything. You can just adjust the shape if you want to. You don't have to do it now even. Uh, it's kind of easier if you do it a bit later. So that's sort of the base of our of our little friend here. Um, let's have a look. Uh, oh great, so Jermaine has, in case you haven't seen it, uh, it's on hopefully it's on YouTube and Facebook together, but Jermaine's posted a link to my video um, where I did the dragonflies. So you can make little matching dragonflies and these butterflies as well. Um, here we go. Uh, ah, this is a nice idea. Here we go. Anne says, with the wings tilted up slightly, it would look lovely pinned to the hair. Um, on a nice summer's day. You could use more than one and they look as though they've landed there. Mind you, I'm too old to do that, unfortunately. That's not true, and you could definitely do that. Um, <coughs> so, um, where are we? Okay, uh, yeah, so Jermaine's put the link in now. It's on Facebook and it's on YouTube if you want to watch the, the dagger video as well, uh, the, the dragonfly video. So yeah, now that I've got my little piece like this, let's add in the beads to decorate his little wings. See that? There, I'm going to just add these pieces in to sort of finish him off, more or less. Ah, oh, speaking of which, maybe I should have a sip of tea. It's a good idea, isn't it? Um, Um, I've just put a little thing at the bottom. Of course, next week I'm going to be doing showing off everybody's pictures. So send us your pictures, email them in to live at beadspider.co.uk of what you've been making, what you've been doing. It doesn't have to be jewelry, anything you want. And I will get them, uh, I'll show them off to everyone on our Bead Spider uh, little stream next Friday. So same time next Friday, I'm going to show off whatever pictures uh, people have done. So send them in. Um, uh, to me. Now, I've got a little piece of wire here. It's only about six inches long, uh, which is easily enough, uh, 15 centimeters for you uh, who are using the uh, metric system. Um, there we go, get rid of that. And what I'll do is I'm going to just count because I added 40 beads to the wing. I wanna put this ever so nicely in the middle of that space. So I'll just count on this. First thing I'll do is just create, with that last sort of three quarters of an inch or so, I'm gonna hook it round into this sort of a shape here, like that. And I'm gonna use that to hook between the, uh, the 20th and 21st beads. So I've got 20 on both sides. So if I just have a little look, one, two, three, I'll zoom in a fraction more. There we go. So yeah, one, two, three, four, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So it's between these two beads. This is the center. So coming from the the top, I'm going to just hook that in to that gap between the twentieth and twenty-first beads because that's the center. And see that? I'm just nicely inside of that gap, and I'll cross the wires over. Get my wires crossed. <laughs> and pull them nice and tight like that there. Then I'll just flip it over like this and I'll do the same again. So I just sort of rotated that and now I'll just flip it, cross them in opposite directions again. And this gives me a really tight little finish just like this. Flip it over once more and just bend that over. Bend this one over too. There we go. And that's going to get us relatively secured onto that wing. So I don't need this excess little taily bit anymore. So I'll just come in with my scissors, uh, my cutters, so it doesn't get in the way or anything. Cut that little excess bit off. And I'll just use my fingernail 
to just lay that little sticking up tip bit down so that it's not going to catch on things just to get it neat there we go so there we go and now we can embellish the center of our wings so the first thing we do we pick up one of our seed beads we're going to use some of our three by fours now so my three by four mil crystals here uh, i'll need two of those which if you're making uh if you get the bundle because don't forget we do have all four uh, as a bundle so that you can get it as a discount you can very easily mix and match your colors to make like for example I did one here where I got black seed beads and did the outer as black and I used some of the beads from the pink some of the beads from the purple some of the beads from the gold uh, all in this little fella here to sort of make him a bit more interesting which you can very easily do that as well if you um, get the bundle of, of multiples just because uh, you'll have so many butterflies that you can play with you can do because you can make six in each kit uh you can do all gold ones and then you can do loads of mixes and matches and all sorts of different things like that um where are we now uh okay so yeah there we go we go one and two another one of our six mil bicones and then two more three by four crystals so one and two. see that there did anyone i miss i miss people's suggestions who had some really good ideas of what they're going to do with with the butterflies so anyway there we go i've got those just there don't forget to comment in of course and like and share and subscribe to our channel all the usual business um so there we go so now let's just pull this in here and what i'll do i'm going to bend the wire like this so that this is kind of in line with the body let's get these out of the way for now like so and what i'll do i if you have a look see how there's the bottom wing and the top wing they're joined by these three seed beads i'm going to just wrap my wire around those three it doesn't matter where you do it um i find that maybe the first bead or so is a good one um doesn't really matter too much uh, you can go towards the bottom. It's it's entirely of your preference, but the way that I'm going to do it I'll show you this this I think gives you a much cleaner Finish when you when you get it finished is that you hold this roughly in position get it nice and firm So there's no space in the wire up here and then because I'm coming from this side I'm gonna go around this side so starting here make sure it's all tight around this side and underneath like that there and then I'm going to go underneath here see that little loop I've created almost like a half hitch knot that I'm creating and go under that little gap pull it all the way through and just make sure it's nicely in between a pair of the seed beads as we do that and then just pull this all the way through like this and then that little half hitch is going to make it nice and secure and I can now bend it over that wire and to the right and now this way it looks like my wire even though I've wrapped it around it looks like it's coming from the base of that hole now so that's a really easy way to make it look nice and neat at this point again this is slightly different from the written instructions that you'll get but um, I mean the written instructions tell you do one side then do the other side but I find that if you you can get it that little bit neater if you try and do them both at the same time so again slightly more advanced lessons so I'll flip it into right-handed view for this version so that you can sort of see this process as a right-hander not just a left-hander um, but I'm going to again with the final about three quarters of an inch or so bend that right down to create that loop shape there and counting 20 beads once more i'm gonna go from the base of my wing here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen between these two beads here so the 20th and 21st just hook that over the top of that 
get that nicely in that gap. There we go. Pull that tightly and then oop, don't lose the gap. There we go. Hold that tightly. And then I'm going to just fold this one over this way, fold this one over that way. And now I can pull them in opposite directions. And this is going to give me a nice, clean um, wrap around that wire there. I'll just rotate it around so that it's like this. And now they're both on the underside of the wire. So I can wrap this side over, wrap this side over. And then this way you don't have to try and loop through the wing at all. You just sort of flip them around again. Now this one, again, it's underneath the wire. So I can just turn that over that way, turn this over this way. There we go. And now I'm on the top, in position, ready to do my second wing. I don't need this little bit of wire anymore. So with my cutters, let's chop that fella off. And squeeze that little fella flat, tuck it in. And look at that, that gives you a really clean, neat little finish there. So really, really smooth, easy to work with. And now I'll just adorn my uh, wire just like I did before. So one seed bead, two of my three by four mil crystals, one six millimeter bicone bead, two more of these crystals, finally one seed bead. So that's going to cover the wing and I'll thread down through this six mil bicone in the middle of our body, all the way through, pull it all the way, all the way, all the way, and pull that nice and tight, and that's kind of gonna lock that nicely in position because they're sort of both pulling on it in equal directions. So I'll just bend this, and again, what I'll do is, starting on this side, so I'll go to the opposite corner, take this thread around the underside, get it in, have a look underneath to make sure it goes between two beads there in that gap. So just squeeze it inside that gap. And now I'll go underneath the little loop that I've just created. Just get this one out of the way for now. So there's that little bit of a space that I've created inside there, so I'm under that wire, pull it all the way through, and again, that's gonna give us that same sort of half hitch crossover, so that I can then go over this wire, over this wire, and they look like they're now coming out of the hole of this bead, so directly where we want them to be. So this one goes this way, and this one goes this way, and they look like they're coming out of the hole, which is exactly what we want. There we go. So now I'm going to do my little join from this side and this side. So I'll just do one at a time. We'll pick up one seed bead. What are we all thinking, by the way? Oh, Kelly's reminding me to have some tea. I should. Uh, there we go. One seed bead. One three by four. One six mil bicone which of course you can sort of change the way that you do this. If you don't like the six by fours, you can uh, use more of the three by fours to join them and things. So it's up to you how you do it really, but you've got plenty of beads to make lots. And now, so seeing like this, cause I've got this in position, I'm kind of gonna bend my wire. You can do this one so that it's gonna fit nicely in the center, but I kind of prefer it if you follow the shape. So see how it's made this sort of kidney shape looping downwards. I'm going to follow that shape and I'm going to fill that gap in the center of that little kidney, as it were, and go, yeah, this is a nice spot. I like this spot. And I'll just wrap my thread nicely against that little bead gap there. Now I'll just, keeping my, my wire kind of curved if I can so that it doesn't get too difficult to work with, I'm going to loop through here, pull this one now down in there and then this will give me the opportunity to pull this wire nice and straight so that you get a clean loop around that little bit of wire so i'll show you it once more go down here and now 
keep it sort of a big fat curving arc like this so that it will go through this gap we don't want it to get too bent yet and now that it's almost through I want it to just pull nice and straight in the opposite direction so that it gives you a really clean little wrap which I can try and show you there you go look how clean that is go over the top and we can cut off the excess because we don't need that any more chop him off and then I'll just tuck that using my fingernail into that little gap there see that and now let's do the same for the other side. So I'm gonna, I know he's looking a bit wonky, but that's fine, we, we, we shape him at the very end. So now uh, I'll just have some tea. People are asking me about my tea. What sort of tea do I drink? I don't know, whatever's, whatever's, whatever's given to me. I'm not too fussy. Not, uh, just a normal breakfast tea. I don't like the Earl Grey. It's too floral for me. It's like drinking flowers. Huh. Hmm. Here we go. Uh, so, yeah, let's do the same again for this other side now. So, one seed bead, one crystal, six mil bicone, one crystal, finish with a seed bead. Oh, did I finish with the seed bead on this one? No, I forgot the seed bead on this end. Anyway, you meant to finish with a seed bead there, but I forgot it. So, just for the sake of making the match. I'll forget the seed bead on this one too. See, it's freeform. You can... Uh, it wasn't a mistake. I did it on purpose. It was a, a design feature, of course. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's, nice and, it's nice and easy. You can sort of play with them, change them, uh, mix and match, see what works for you. So anyway, let's do that last one. Because I want it to be re matching to the opposite side, this time I will count how how many around it was on this so if i just count here you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so it's between the 11th and 12th beads here so if i count it on this side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and there's the 12th so i'll just thread my wire into that little gap so that it's nice and tight around there and that should hopefully give me that symmetrical shape which it's not as tight as I would like it to be because this one's not bent quite the same way so I'll just readjust it so that it's going to be as firm as I can get it because I don't want to see any of the additional wire or anything so let's just position it nicely into that same little spot and get it there we go now it's much closer there we go maybe I missed it by one bead in the end let's move it over one there we go get that wrapped and now of course because it's fairly close we'll do that same process where we keep it relatively open curve big curve because we don't want to get any kinks in our wire and now that I've got it roughly in position I can pull hard and straight out wrap around again like so and then unbend this piece of wire It'll be an open curve see that nice big open curve and that will go through that little loop like so and now I can bring it all the way down so that it's sort of not gonna bend and then bring it back up into position bend it over and that'll do that'll be nice and secure and one finished little butterfly all you've got to do now is just sort of fiddle with him jiggle him around get him shaped the way that you like sort of i like to what i quite like to do is because we've got some seed beads let's sort of smush his head with so that his neck is a bit more like this uh, <laughs> like that so that his head is sort of in the line with the rest of his body so see that just press his little neck forwards sort of squeeze him a bit more together 
And then this way, you'll see almost none of that wire at all. It just looks really, really clean and neat and easy to, to sort of hide. And once he's nicely shaped, uh, we can sort of attach him to things. So again, I kind of like doing them a little bit, the wings, I like doing the wings a little bit straight at first. Like, here's a good example of it. Uh, where's my blue one? There we go. So see that? I kind of like doing the bottom of the wings straight and then a big curve around. Bottom straight and then a big curve around and then that nice smooth kidney shape. So just spend a bit of time getting the shape just the way you want it to look. And then... I mean, he's, he's easy to change at any time. There you go. That's that's a pretty good shape. I'm happy. I'm happy with that shape, and so I'm going to attach it to a hair a hair comb. Stick it on my uh, my my own hair. I don't know how to use these things. I tell you, never had to use one. Um, well, there we go. Uh, here we go. Where are we? Uh, yeah. So, oh, that's a nice idea. Uh, Christina says, you could put a butterfly in a dream catcher. What a fantastic idea. I love that idea. Um, in case you didn't see it, I did it in, uh, in a pot plant like this just here, which, uh, you just attach it to a bit of, um, florist wire and, uh, it will, it'll look really, really nice just sort of in your pot plants. I think it's a really nice a uh, little suggestion there. Um, we've also got... Wait, who else has got an idea? Uh, Doris says, put it in a sun catcher. <laughs> yep. Um, they'll look great as a mobile hanging from the ceiling or something. Um, let's see, who else has got ideas? Come on, everyone, comment in your ideas. How would you use this little butterfly fella? Anyway, I'm going to cut myself a bit of wire. Comment in. Comment in with your suggestions, and I'm going to show them all up with to give people ideas. Um, a nice idea that Jermaine had was that you can very easily, because they're nice and flat, you can put them on a card, glue them to a, a card, and send it to someone. I mean, you can save them up for Christmas if you want to, and send them with Christmas cards, but otherwise, you know, some nice welcome to spring type cards. Obviously, this guy has a brooch on him, um, but yeah, there's there's all sorts of different things that you can do. Do you know, I think it would be really fun to mix the seed beads around the outer edge as well. Like, you could potentially start with, like, pink and then purple and then graduate. Sort of like, you get all the colours as you go round. That could look really, really fun, I reckon. Um, uh, but yeah, so now I'll show you, now that I've got this done, how to attach it onto here. Has everybody else come out with some ideas? I don't know. Uh, so, the way we'll attach it to this, because I think um, the way Jermaine had it was that you'd kind of have it in the side of your hair. I'm trying to think how I would how I do this. I did see Jermaine do it, but essentially like this, and then when you fold it over and push it in, you want him to sit. Wait. Let's show my face. Let's try and do this. Come on now. You want him to be on the hair, this is, yeah, this is clearly my, my thing, just here. But anyway, there you go. Um, there's the, the, the gold one. Do you know what? Because I've demonstrated with the gold one, uh, as per S Doris's suggestion, that the blue one is gorgeous. Maybe I'll attach the, the gold one to this fella here instead. Um, it's easy enough to do. Uh, you know, you could put it like this. Let's see. Uh, where are we? Here we go. Um, oh, Evelyn, uh, Evelyn agrees. She says the blue is my favourite colour as well. Um, I really like the, the pink one, for example. I think the, the purple, I think the purple thus far on the website selling wise, uh, the purple is selling the best, it seems. I can see your orders coming through, lots of orders coming through, which is always good. Um, so make sure you're not dilly-dallying too much. I can see the stock is dwindling, dwindling. Uh, but yeah, I, I quite like the purple one. But the pink is nice as well. And then these two mix together really nicely. You can sort of mix them all, really, if you wanted to. Because they're all sort of bright, summery colours, they, they do mix quite quite easily 
if you're going to get the the bundle of all four which i'll just if you've got no idea what i'm talking about uh let's just pop that here and this is what i'm talking about no no that's not working come on now stop misbehaving Here we go. So yeah, uh, the, if you want to get all four, it's 25% off, but you can see they're super sparkly. But anyway, let's attach one. Uh, we'll attach the blue one, because everybody said they really like the blue one. So I'm going to use the, the blue, and I'm going to attach it to here. So what I'll do is attach at two points. Um, if I look at the back, essentially I can attach uh, in the middle of his body and in the middle of his neck is probably the best spots to attach to um, just because I don't have any wire there or anything and it's sort of nice and easy to to sort of attach at those points so you just need two wires they don't need to be terribly long nearly knocked my tea just then so with my wire let's just cut ourselves another I don't know probably six inches is more than enough pop that back into here just do them one at a time. Put that in there. Yeah, this is plenty. And that will do for part one, which you can do it with just one attach point as well if you want to, but I think two will make it a bit firmer. Which, shall I do it this way or shall I do it this way? Maybe I'll do it this way. I'll do it this way. This way? Yeah, what do we think? Here we go. Uh, so, oh... Christina says, I'm very cute with the butterfly in my hair. Why, thank you. I uh, I aim to please. Um, here we go. So, first things first, I'm going to wrap my wire underneath. So I'll, I'll start with his neck. Uh, let's get rid of that ticker, shall we? Here we go. So with my wire, I've put it back in right-hand view now. I'll take my wire just underneath his neck. It doesn't really matter where you do this. Just sort of bend it in half. So it's nicely, wait, let's let's get a nice, find the nice central midpoint. It's around about here. And then I'll just loop it over his head. Make sure you do this to the back. You don't want to do it to the front. Otherwise you'll end up with a wonky butterfly, I guess. So just jiggle it in there into a nice little gap between a pair of seed beads. Any will do. If you've got to move his head back, you can. It's easy enough. And then just pull that in there. And then I'll cross the two wires over. And make sure that's nicely between. Get this out of the way. And get it. Yeah, that'll do and pull and that's going to make it relatively tight and that'll hold my butterfly like this so this is all you need just one loop is enough you can do it once more if you want to but it's not a necessity just pull that there and now that i've got this here i can just attach it straight on to to my piece here so because i want it to sit like this i guess if you're doing it this way you have to think about if you want it on the the left side of your head or the right so uh I guess, I guess, does that matter? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does. I don't know. Which way is it going to sit? Like that? Whatever. We'll see. I'll just put it in and we'll see what happens. So anyway, now just try and position them approximately where you want him to sit. So I'm going to get him so that he's sitting right at the top, even. And then I'll just sit him there. There we go, right at the top. What do you think? I mean, you could put it in the middle if you want to, but wherever's easy for you. So this one... I'll just, if I turn it over, got it nice and centrally, and I'll just wrap it, one this way and one that way, like so. And inside that gap, and just take it around behind, like so. Take this one also around and behind, and then into the same gap again. You can do that a couple of times just to try and get it 
nicely wrapped in there. Inside that gap again, just bend that down so that it's nice and firm. Inside that gap, oops, missed the gap. Let's go in that gap, here we go. And that ought to do, I reckon. Let's bend it to this sort of... I'll, I'll cut it about here so that I can bend this towards the back to finish that off. And I'll do the same on this side. Get it in there. And then, like I said, there you go. There's your first one. I should have probably attached my second one earlier, but it doesn't matter. Uh, there you go. And then they, if you want to just do one attach point, that's enough. But I probably should have done this a bit earlier, but luckily I can sort of do it still. Make sure you do both attaches at the bottom at the beginning. Otherwise, it's a lot more difficult. I wasn't, I wasn't forward planning enough there, was I? Uh, here we go. Let's just cut off one more little piece here. This ought to be enough. And now, where's his body? So there, I'll just join it to this piece just here. Um, there we go. Underneath here. So I'll just take that in there. It's easy enough because he's got lots of space around him. The wire, you don't even have to find the middle, but just try and get it nicely in the gap. Come on now, under his wing. There we go. That's close enough. And let's just cross the two wires over between that middle bead there. So this one can go this way. This one can go this way. There we go, get that nice and firm. Look at that. Easy peasy, but it would have been easier had I done it earlier. And then just position his bottom of his body. Make sure it's sort of where you want it to be. I think that'll do. And now let's just wrap it around again. So this one can go this way, this can go this way. And now this time I'll go down towards the bottom. Because you can go either up or down, it makes no difference. But um, I think it's a bit easier in this instance to go downwards. Because if I tried to go up, it would wrap around the top one. But there you go, go through there. Up and around. This one can go over, into the gap and down. This one can go down. Back up here and around. And then last one in there and that will do it so let's just cut this little bit off bend it in to the back maybe i'll cut off it slightly more and attach it to there and then this one as well just cut it off and then just poke it in so that the wire is behind if you need to you can always use your pliers or something to get the wire really bent in. There we go. It's gonna get that one nicely in there. Oops. Go this little bit inside there. Tuck it in, there we go. Nice. And then there, we can just adjust his little body so that he sits perfectly. His head's back in position now. Get his wings looking nice and straight. You could even put two on here if you wanted to. If you fancy. Just fix his little antennae, get them nice and straight as well. Bend them. Maybe I'll bend them outwards and upwards. And then same with this one. Outwards and upwards. Bring them together. There we go. And look at that. Very cute. How's that looking? And now I can just... Stick it in my hair if I want to. So if I... Oh, let's see if this works. Oh, here we go. Put it in my my hair again. I, 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 should have, I should have paid more attention on how Jermaine did this. How did she do this? Maybe like this. 
There we go. And now I'm beautiful. <laughs> Didn't quite go to plan, but you get the idea. See, there you go. That's That gives you the idea. And he sits up and he looks nice. I tell you, this looks ridiculous. I, I don't have enough hair here. <laughs> but anyway, you get the idea. And then inside my my luscious flowing locks, I've got uh, my little butterfly. There you go. Ta-da! <laughs> but yeah, which is quite cute. It's quite nice. Do you know what? Oh, I should have thought of this earlier. Oh, well. Uh, the little finding that I had could have gone on here as well and underneath. And then it would have sat in my hair looking more like, well, someone's hair. Sort of giving you both looks. Let's use the gold one so you can see them a bit better. Because then it could have looked more like this. Should have should have thought about this in advance. And then this would ah, it's all gone it's all gone awry. But anyway, that would give you uh, the 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 finding sort of gives you a really nice ooh, uh, filigree piece that is um, sort of like a, an added bonus. So maybe I should have done it on this side a bit more. There we go. Something like that. Otherwise, um, you could attach it to a hairband. I tell you, I'm just having fun playing with all the findings now. This this could look funny. Um, but with butterflies attached, if you want something like that, you know. Um, but yeah, there you go. Each one of these um, is... So I think the kit is about... 12 pounds uh 12 pounds and it makes six so if you figure it out no 13 pounds and it makes six so each one of these little butterflies is about two pounds so really really inexpensive uh to get your little um your little butterflies there uh so there we go you could make something like this and it would only cost you about two pounds unless you want to get our bundle where you get all four kits because like i said each one of these kits does make six. Uh, you will get, um, I guess at, how much was it again? I can't remember how much we did it for, the all six. Uh, 12 pounds less. So I think it was 20, 20 pounds or something for all of them. I can't remember. I should have a look. Wait, it's 40, 40, 40 for them all. Yeah, so you get them all for 40, uh, which works out when you're doing 24 butterflies that they're less than two pounds each so really really inexpensive and especially if you're going to use them as decorations for things like uh how i put it in that um the little thing like that uh they're really inexpensive little decorations that way so <coughs> 24 of them for for 40 pounds 30 uh that is very very inexpensive especially because you're making 12 uh, sorry um 24 in total so very very good value in that way um what comments have we got uh nancy says he's going to prom yeah i i, I should have had one on a on a on a bracelet instead maybe and worn it as a um uh as a come on brain i can't remember what i was thinking now um, what are they called? Those things that you... Yeah, whatever. It's gone. Um, here we go. Yeah, it would look good as a fascinator, says Jan. Great idea. Uh, Nancy is last, uh, laughing out loud. A corsage. There you go. So apparently it's called a corsage that you wear on your wrist. I just, uh, you know, phone a friend, as it were. Jermaine just called out. Um, but yeah, £1.60 each, it works out. So if you wanted to get all four... Each little butterfly, this £1.60, really, really inexpensive, and they're made with crystal. So very, very good value uh, that we've tried to, to do that for you. Um, and then, of course, just choose some... You do get your... Um, your, come on, brooches. Uh, the brooch findings are included, these ones here. So if you want, you can send them to all of your friends and it can be like a little, a nice little thing. But otherwise, um, yeah, get some florist wire just, you know, from the, the local um, garden center or something or or some of these hair findings or a hair band. 
um, a key ring, for example, get some fishing line and make a mobile like some people suggested. Uh, you could do it as a, a fascinator, which is the, the hat, um, which Nancy says is a fascinator, a hat. Yes, the ones where it's like um, the, the, the sort of thing that they would wear at the royal wedding, for example, where it's sort of like silk and you put this sort of thing in there and so forth. Uh, yeah, and a wrist corsage, that's the thing. Um, here we go, where are we? Uh, Christina says, thank you. Uh, well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, of course, I will be back again next week as well. Um, here we go. Uh, earrings and pendant would look nice, even on a choker. Yeah, that's a fun idea. Like, um, you know, something like that right in the center of your choker piece. Wait. Here we go. Fade it in. There we go. Oh, get the comment out of the way. Yeah, as a little choker, that could be quite nice as well. You could do like a little beaded thing and put him in the center, which could look really cute. Um, I have no... Oh, oh, I don't know why Jermaine said that. Uh, fridge magnet. Yes, another great idea um, from Sandy there. Um, but yeah, lots and lots of good ideas. Uh, but yeah, thank you all. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's essentially... Um, today's tutorial, hopefully that was quite fun. It wasn't too long, one of my shorter ones today. Um, I will be showing, so uh, don't forget, if you want to be on the show, if you want to send us your pictures, uh, send your pictures to live at beadspider.co.uk, uh, which is it just there. Um, <coughs> if you want to um, be on the show, so I can put your pictures up, I'll show them all off, for example, um, like Colleen Rowe, she sent some in a few weeks ago. This is one, funnily enough, with dragonflies right there, which I showed this off, uh, I think, at the end of last month. But if you want to send us your pictures like this, it doesn't even have to be our beads. I'm more than happy to show them off and sort of promote your work. More than happy to do it. Let's, uh, you know, make it a bit of a community thing. Um, but yeah, thank you. Oh, all for watching. Uh, I saw someone. Oh, yeah. Jermaine says you could use a like a skewer. She's called it a kebab stick, but uh, I'm pretty sure she means like a, you know, a wooden skewer for the pot plant, which is a, a, a nice, easy idea as well. Um, I don't recommend using, you know, going and buying some kebab sticks, a shish kebab, and then <laughs> once you've finished with it, clean the stick and use that. No. Um, <laughs> but you can very easily get some of those little sticks and use those. Uh, but yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, we've still got lots of people here. Um, Ellie is still here. We've got Shireen is here. Um, Christina says, have a good weekend, everyone. Uh, I agree. You too, Christina. Thank you for joining. Uh, Dora says goodbye. She says, see you later and take care. Um, Sandy, she says, thank you. Love this quick and easy project. Happy weekend to you all. Um, and Charlotte seems to think that it was, well, I don't know, beautiful Matthew. It's not, uh, she's not talking about the butterflies. She's definitely talking about me, especially when I've got the, uh, thing in my hair. Oh, so handsome. Uh, but yeah. Oh, I got a nice little look there. Um, but yeah. Thank you, everybody, for joining me once again. I hope you had lots of fun, a bit of a laugh. Um, don't forget, please do like, share, subscribe. Um, if you want to, of course, oh, I'll just show you very, very quickly on our website one last time. If you head to, I'll show you what the homepage looks like. So if you click the big button in purple that says view all related products or if you're there watching on YouTube and Facebook, you can just click the link in the description. It will take you to this page where you can get all of those butterflies. So you'll make 24 butterflies for 40 pounds, which is one pound 60 per butterfly. Very, very inexpensive. Otherwise, um, at 13 pounds to 12.95, if you want just the one colorway. But of course, if you do get the big bundle, you can mix them and match them as well. Uh, we've got lots of crystals here, so a 3x4 crystal bundle, uh, which you save 50p per strand. So uh, instead of £20, it's only £16. Uh, we've got some of the 6 mil bicones here. We've got some more 3x4s. Some of the seed beads are a bit further down, which, oh, I should mention, 
Uh, we just added as well, there's all the findings down here, but if you have a look up here at the top where it says, or you can't quite see it for some reason, um, maybe if I can just, whoop, no, that's the wrong button. Um, come on now. Hopefully that will, no, didn't work. Oh well, whatever. Uh, but yeah, if you come up the top into the menu, um, let's try shrinking it a little. No, for some reason it just doesn't want to show now. I don't know why. But anyway, the, ah, there we go. So if you have a look up here, beads, click on that. Come down to seed beads, preciosa seed beads over here. And then our preciosa size 10 seed beads. We've just added 50 new colors. So there's 180 colors now. Uh, lots and lots of colors uh, to look through. Um, so yeah, 50 new ones, taking us up to 100 and 80 colors in total uh, in there if you want but they're all nice and color organized for you so that you can see them this is a new color i really like this one the luster blue moon that's lovely uh but yeah there's lots and lots see look four pages let's have a look at page three uh but yeah you can very very easily this one i reckon is going to be popular the metallic bright silver um but yeah lots and lots of vibrant colors uh, this one would be good for doing beaded flowers, for example, I reckon. Uh, you could do some nice sunflowers with that. Uh, but yeah, loads and loads of different ones. Uh, 50 new colors. So make sure you go on and check all of those out. Um, they are very, very good quality. The size 10 Preciosa, which if I just scroll down to the bottom, here's a size comparison. Size 10 Preciosa are the same size as your Toho size 11 and your Mayuki size 11. And of course, the same size as our size 11 micro crystal seed, um, seed bead crystals, sparkly crystals. So yeah, there's your size comparison. But otherwise, um, check all of those things out over there on the website. Um, I think that will do from me today. So thank you all for joining. I hope you had lots of fun. Um, and now go make your own butterflies. Um, you know, I want to see some pictures of people's butterflies. So make sure you send us your pictures to live at beadspider.co.uk. Um, share, subscribe, all of that sort of thing. Um, and I will see you next week. Um, I'm hoping I'll have a video that will be pre-recorded, um, released on YouTube on Wednesday, and then I'll be back here live next Friday, I think. That's, that's, that's probably the plan. So expect something new on Wednesday, which if you haven't, um, if you're not subscribed to our email list, click the little link in the description that says join up to our newsletter. You get a five pound voucher for coupons as well. So it makes it worthwhile, but then you'll be, that's the best way to know what's coming next week. Um, but yeah, again, as always, thank you very, very much for joining me. I hope you've had lots of fun uh, and you'll uh, enjoy making some of those beautiful things. And Jermaine has just told me to remind you, uh, the pinch bead bundles, there's only a couple left, which uh, was what I used to make this gorgeous little necklace last Friday, the Pinch Beads Bundle. Um, if you want to get that one, wait, I'll show you it with my hand. Uh, they're almost out of stock completely now. So here we go. Uh, you, there's only a few bundles worth left. So if you want to get the bundles, um, of course, you can still get the individual pit beads, but the bundle, which is a big discount, I think we're almost uh, out of stock of those. So feel free to jump on and get one of those if you want to. Um, but yeah. I guess that's it from me today. Thank you all very, very much for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a lovely weekend and bye-bye. See you later.